Congratulations, Roger. Uh, how, did, is this about where you thought you might get drafted? And, and what did you think when the Titans gave you a call? Um, oh, yes. Um, um, I, I, I went on a visit to the Titans, and I just love everything about Nashville and everything, just the coaches and everything. And they, they talked about their system, and I really felt like I could fit in. And that's, that's why I was hoping that when that pick came, that I would be one of those choices they would call. And I'm just happy that they chose me. What do you know about the secondary here, Roger? Um, I, I really don't know much about the secondary, but I know um, they drafted they dropped on um, Kayla Farley. I'm um, a guy who um, got on last year, and um, the safety. Um, I, I know I know a little much about him, but that's guys I really don't know that much of. But going into it, I know I can help them a lot, and I want to know more about them. What about your skill system, uh, your skill set, Roger, and, and how do you think that will fit in uh, with the Titans? Oh yeah, my skill set. Um, I feel like I'm coming and do great with my, my skill set because um, I'm a corner that can play man. Um, we play a lot of zone, I can play zone too, and I know that I can play the nickel too a lot to fit in the secondary, and I can go out to the corner. So I feel like it's good that and going into the system they they want me to play at both positions. I'm happy that I'm looking forward to playing both positions. Roger, I saw numerous references to the fact that you were highly rated coming out of high school. Did you feel like you were underrated and you were an NFL prospect there? Was it some point along the way in college that you started to think this was possible for you? Oh, it was kind of hard for me a little bit because I was lower low rated guy coming out of high school. I was a three-star. So not a lot of people had that trust in me. So I feel like I had to chip my shoulder going to the next level to college. And no, sir, I, I did not imagine this would happen. Um, coming out of my um, college year, I had the confidence. It was just great. My senior season, I had a great season, and the confidence just went high. And now that I, now that I know going to the next level, my confidence is going to be great, and I feel like I'm going to do good going to the next level. What did they tell you, whether it was Mike or John, after after drafting you uh, about maybe what your role might be and how you fit in? Um, they haven't told me my, my exact role. They just said they happy. They happy they had um, chose me. Um, just the player that I am, the corner that I am, the physical guy, a guy that, um, who can adjust to the system and everything. They just love everything about me. And they know that I'm coming to do great. Roger, are you recovering from uh, any kind of injury? Um, no, ma'am. I didn't have no previous injury. Um, I was good. I just had a little, little minor stuff, but it wasn't a big deal. You gonna check in with Coach Mason to see what uh, what he can tell you about Nashville? What you said? You gonna check in with Coach Mason to see what he can tell you about Nashville? Oh yes, sir. Um, that's the call I'm gonna call right after this. And Cole Mason, that's one of my, my closest, my favorite defense coordinator. He's one on beside Kevin Steele. And um, yes, sir, I'm gonna talk to him to see how everything goes. He I already know he already told me a little about it, but I know he won't want to tell me more, so I'm gonna call him right after. Roger, what's your special teams experience like? My special team experience, um, I feel like I have, I got a lot of experience with that because I've been playing special teams since I was a freshman. So going to the next level, I know that I'm not just gonna play defense. I'm coming in trying to play. Defense, special team, no matter what, just to help the team out. I don't care where, wherever it be. Okay, we can move on to uh, people remotely. All righty, Tehran, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Roger, I, I wanted to ask you just about how playing in the SEC and going against those top-level corners, how much did you feel that made you a battle-tested uh, corner to be able to come into, into the league, going against those receivers, rather? Yeah, SEC. I feel like that's like that's the best conference. That's the best conference underneath on at home, the NFL that prepare you for the next level. And just going against these great receivers from week in to week out. That's why I feel like I was one of the best corner in the draft because I played against the best from Henry Ruggs to Jamar Chase to Devonte Smith and to Traylon Burks. There's a lot of guys, and I feel like just having that under my belt and playing the SEC, and that's why my confidence is so high going to the next level. What do you remember about that matchup with uh, Traylon Burks? At Trey Long Birds, I feel like going into this draft class, a lot of people ask me who I think is like one of the good receivers in the class. I feel like a lot of people sleep on Trey Long Birds because that guy there, like just his size and just his size, like he can do a lot. He's not a slow guy. He can run. He's quick. He can jump. So like going into that game, it was just great going against that guy, like that type of big receiver. And I'm happy that I had went against him. And after the game, we spoke and said good luck. And I'm happy now that we're both teammates now. Kayla. Kayla, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? We got you, Kayla. Hey, Roger, has he reached out to you yet? Or have you talked Traylon at all? Um, no, I haven't, I haven't talked to him yet. Um, we haven't reached out or connected yet. And but I just I'm wanted to... 
I wanted to ask you about coach Vrabel. Like, what did you hear about coach Vrabel? He's, he's obviously a well-known coach in the NFL. He, he likes things a certain way. Um, what did you know about him before this? I'm going to tell you true. I, I didn't know not much about him really, but I'm just going to, just going to talk to him. I know that he, he's like a great coach. Like he, he don't like, he don't like lie to you. You know, he'll tell you the truth and how he feel about you. And I just feel like going to, going into the next level, I'm happy to be coached by him.